In this easy to follow tutorial, I'll show you how to turn just one black layer and one white layer into four must have Procreate pattern brushes. These brushes are perfect for jazzing up planner pages, adding texture to clip art or whipping up last minute stickers. Once they're in your library, you'll wonder how you ever created without them. Let's get started. So let's begin by setting up the canvas settings. To do this, tap the plus icon. Then tap the new canvas icon. I'm working on a 2000 by 2000 pixel canvas. At 300 dpi. Pause here if you want to match me exactly, otherwise dive in with any square canvas size you prefer. When you've completed your canvas setup, tap the create button. Now that we're inside the project, tap the colour button. Select the disc setting and expand the disc using your finger and thumb. Then double tap inside the white area. This will set the colour to solid white. Tap the layers icon. This will open up the layers panel that stores all the layers we create. Tap the layer and select fill layer. Add a new layer by tapping the plus icon at the top right of the layers panel. Tap the colour button and expand the disc again but this time double tap inside the black area. This sets the colour to jet black. Open the layers panel, tap layer 2 and select fill layer. We now have two filled in layers, one black and one white. Now we need to select the transform tool. Inside our transform settings, we need to check that it's set correctly for our brush stamp. So we need to set it to uniform. Tap snapping to open up the settings. Magnetics and snapping need to be on. And the distance and velocity need to be set to max. Now we can drag the black layer to the right until it snaps perfectly halfway. The orange guidelines can help you here. Then tap the transform tool to set it in place. Go back to the layers panel and merge the two layers together. There are two ways to do this. One is to swipe right on the other layer, tap group, double tap new group and select flatten. But the shortcut hack is simply to pinch the layers together. Now we need three duplicates of this layer. To do this, swipe left on the layer and select duplicate. Repeat two more times. For clarity, let's hide the first layer at the bottom. To hide it, tap the visibility checkbox. Now with the top layer selected, Swipe right on the two visible layers underneath it. Tap the transform tool and at the bottom of the screen, tap the rotate 45 degrees icon. Then move along and tap fit to canvas. Select freeform. Then from the top right, extend the layer outside of the canvas. And do the same for the bottom left now set it back to uniform. Then tap the transform tool to deselect the layers and set them in place. Go back to the layers panel and select the top layer only. Tap the transform tool and push to the top left quarter until it snaps perfectly. Select the next layer Tap the transform tool and drag it to the bottom right quarter and deselect it by tapping the transform tool. And using any of the merging techniques I showed before, 
merge the three visible layers together. Tap the layer and select copy. Now for the fun part. Tap the brush icon to open the brush library. Scroll the library down until you see the plus icon at the top. Tap it to add a new brush folder. Using your finger, double tap this and rename it to Stripe Brushes. And tap the plus icon at the top right of the brush library. We're now in the Stroke Path settings. Here we need to set the Stroke Path to 10. and set Jitter and Fall Off to None. Now we want to open the Grain settings. This is located a little further down from the Stroke Path setting. So tap it, and next to Grain Source, tap Edit. Then, select Import, and tap Paste, and select Done. Then set the grain behaviour to texturized, And set the scale to the size of stripes you want. And for future, whenever you want to change the size of the pattern, just tweak this setting. Next, select the Apple Pencil setting. And inside the Pressure setting, Set the opacity to none. Now go to the Properties tab and set your maximum and minimum sizes according to your preference. And select Done. Open the Layers panel and hide the Diagonal Stripe stamp and add a new layer. You can play around with the brush, changing the size, opacity or colour. Open the Layers panel and tap the bottom stamp layer and select Copy. Now go back to the brush library and duplicate the diagonal stripe brush by swiping left on the brush and selecting Duplicate. Tap this new brush to open its settings. As this duplicated brush has all the settings we set previously, we only need to change one setting. So let's go straight to the grain settings. At the side of grain source, tap edit. Tap import and select paste. And tap done. You can now scale your stripe stamp to the scale you want. And tap done. And try out your new brush. Now for our gingham plaid brushes. First we will rename and group these two stripe layers. Select the diagonal stripes layer and rename to diagonal stripes.
double tap the bottom layer and rename to classic stripes. Swipe right on the diagonal stripes and tap group. Double tap new group and rename it to stripes. Now duplicate this group, close and hide the first one and working within the visible group duplicate the classic stripes and duplicate the diagonal stripes. We now should have two of each layer within this group. Select the top classic stripes layer and swipe right on the top diagonal stripes layer. Tap the transform tool and tap rotate 45 degrees twice and tap the transform tool to deselect the layers. Go back to the layers panel and tap the top diagonal stripes layer so that it's the only one selected. Then tap the small letter and set the opacity to 50%. Tap the layer again to close the setting and then merge the two diagonal stripe layers together. Then hide it. Select the top classic stripes layer and like before, we need to set the opacity to 50%. Then merge the two classic stripes together. We now have two gingham tiles, one classic and one crisscross. We can now rename these layers. So rename the diagonal stripes layer to gingham crisscross and rename the Classic Stripes layer to Gingham Classic. Then tap it and select Copy. Go back to the brush library and duplicate the last brush. Go to Grain, tap Edit, Select Import and tap Paste. Then select Done. Remember to adjust the scale if needed. And select Done. Go back to the Layers panel and double tap Gingham Crisscross and select Copy. Go back to the brush library, duplicate the last brush, go to Grain, tap Edit, select Import and Paste, then tap Done. Using any of these brushes, you can change the colours as much as you like and also duplicate them and change the scales. These brushes paint flawlessly inside the canvas but won't generate seamless edge-to-edge -edge pattern tiles. If you need full pattern repeats, check out my seamless tile tutorials linked in the description on my channel. And that's it. You now have four new must-have pattern brushes stripes and gingham, ready to use in your planners, stickers and abstract art pieces. If this tutorial saved you a chunk of time or sparked new ideas, hit that like button, subscribe and let me know what pattern you'd love to see next. Thanks for watching and until the next Procreate Creation, keep creating and I'll see you on the next one.